So Grind 75, if I may introduce it, is all about um, working through leak code problems that have increasing difficulty, I guess. So they have these different weeks. Yeah, so you have week one, which are these these guys here, you do some valid parentheses, merged sorted lists, and so on. Um, and they're all easy, and then I guess they, they can start to get harder and harder. Rather than try to work your way through and try to find them on your own, you just, this is grind 75. I can ignore all this stuff. All I want to do is, is do a few of these things. So I wanted to work my way through that. I also created an account on Leap Code. Let me drag that tab over. So here I am. Um, I did solve the two sum one uh, just to try it out. Let's see what I did. I've forgotten. It's been a while since I did it. When did I do this? A year ago. So I was playing with it a year ago, I guess. And they don't even have my oh solution it would be in Rust, right? There. Oh, I must have solved it with a different. No, it says Rust there, but they don't have my solution. Oh well, it's gone. Maybe they purge it after a while. All right, so we'll re we'll resolve this one then. Um, since that's the first problem in the in the uh, grind seventy five, and there's no as far as I can tell, there's no login for grind seventy five. Um, you just have local storage, or, or it saves it as a cookie, or I don't know what it does, but we just check them off when we do them. As far as I can tell, um, it's a nice little website. Other than you know. I don't know how you'd be able to transfer it from browser to browser. Um, so maybe I'll figure that out at some point. Maybe it's in the FAQ, but I don't want to do that on stream. What I do want to do on stream is try to set up a repo to store all this stuff. Let's just go to my, my repo here. Uh, we'll create a new one. Uh, new repo, uh, which we call it. What I figured I would do would be to uh, just create a library. And that way, what we could do is have um, uh, the tests basically be the example. So in, in, in lead code, they give you some examples and they ask you to write the code. And so what I could do is I could write a separate library.rs entry for each one of these guys and then uh, put the tests in and we could solve it that way and then we just copy paste the code in here because I don't want to use this as my editor it doesn't have any of the features that I'm used to so solutions for various neat code problems um, Sure. All right, so let's clone this over here. Hit clone. Boop. Cargo in it. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Um, let's try again. Cargo. Is it in it lib? Can I do it that way? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Get status. Get add dot. Get diff staged. Okay. So we can just uh, git commit Rust library framework. All right. So the first problem is this two something. So how do we get how do we get started with that? I think the easiest thing to do is in lib rs. Um, we don't need that. I think we probably have to do pubmod, right? Should we divide these up? I'm just trying to think of how to, how to name each one of these things. Uh, let's call it leak code 0001 to some. And that way each one we can actually sort them by by name. And this is going to take in a vector of i32s and return target. So that, that should be straightforward. If I try to build this now, it's going to say it doesn't exist. 
So we can just edit it. And let's see how well this, this um, works out for us. So this is the function signature. Let's just copy and paste that in. It returns a vec of i32. So just to get this to compile, I'll just say vec new. And now this should build. We do have three warnings. Let's go over here and get bacon going. Great. And if I just run the tests, it'll give me this. Okay, perfect. So, oops. Oh, it did doc tests too. Okay. Um, so what we can do is just write a test and then, and then just start working our way through this. So test mod, we write a test and we'll call it example one. And we need to assert that given an array of integers nums and an integer target return the indices of two numbers such that they add up to target. You may assume that each number would have exactly one, sorry, each input would have exactly one solution and you may not use the same element twice. You can return the answer in any order. Oh, okay, so that's gonna make things a little more complicated um, because I should be able to output zero, one, or one, zero. <laughs> right, so we're outputting the indices, right? So zero is two and one is seven. So seven plus two is the target number nine. So that all makes sense. That's straightforward stuff. But if we wanna be able to compare them in any order, we need to write a, um, a vector compare function. <laughs> right off the bat, we have an issue. I'm going to assume just for now that I'm going to return them in, in sorted order. So I should be able to say to sum of vec bang 2, 7, 11, and 15 is equal to 9. Oh, is equal to vec bang of 0 and 1, right? We're passing in 9. All right, and then that should fail, and it does. We return an empty array, and we're expecting 0, 1. Perfect. So now we just have to write that code. And this, this code, I think, is pretty straightforward. We just loop over the nums. Uh, for j in i plus 1, dot, dot, nums. If nums of i plus nums of j is equal to target, Return vec bang ij. This way, we know that i is always going to be less than j because i starts at j plus 1. So we know we're, we're return, turning it in sorted order. Um, and if we can't find it, let's just return a vec, empty vec. Can I do this vec bang? Uh, Nums.len. Oh, okay, as u size. Oops, I meant as i32. Very good. Okay, and that test works. I'm going to assume this test is going to work too because this is a very straightforward code. ex2 is basically this line here, um, but it's 3, 2, 4, and we're going to look for a target of 6, and the answer is 1 and 2. Yep, both those tests are working. Okay, so that was two examples, and then we have a third example of two numbers that are the same. Uh, AX3. Uh, two sum back bang 3, 3. And we're looking for a target of 6, and it should be back bang of 0, 1. And that should be our answer. Okay, so all of those pass. That's good. Um, so we just copy paste this code in here, copy, paste, and we have to indent it just to make it formatted, uh, and then submit. Let's see if that works. And then anytime there's a wrong answer here, we can just add it as a test here and solve it and then copy paste the code back. Okay. So we got the first one done. 31 milliseconds faster than 28.52% of Rust, Rust online submissions for Tucson. Is that good? I don't know. Uh, so we can check this off. Boom. 